Hey Fools, I'm Laurie and I am switching the tables a little bit with Adrienne, yes. our lead communications fool. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you How's for How's it coming. going? It's going good. Good. So, we're here to talk about our culture of communication, yes. how we built it in a transparent way so all fools are knowledgeable about what's going on. Yep. So yeah, we have a culture, we really try to foster a culture of communication here at The Fool with everybody having access to the information that they want, when they want it, the way they want it. Um, and some of the ways we do that are through our monthly huddles or our all hands meeting. Um, we get together, um, the whole company gets together mm -hmm. on a regular basis for an hour long meeting every month and we talk about everything from our numbers and where we are against our goals and our forecast uh, cool projects that are going on we have open Q&A pizza uh, has sometimes been involved pizza has sometimes been involved yep. our food we really try to make it a, um, a memorable experience every month but most importantly that we're getting the information out there that we need to the way that people want it so sure. That's one that one way that we do it. We've done huddles since the very beginning of time right. at The Fool. Um, the other way that we do it is through our um, weekly email. It's called Buzzworthy. Yes. Uh, and that the information that's in Buzzworthy is pulled from our intranet called Jingle. So we kind of take all the, the highlights and the biggest news from the la every week mm -hmm. um, and we uh, compile it into our weekly buzzworthy email um, and that is we've added on some cool things to that recently like a, a welcome intro from a fool that kind of highlights um, big news or a project right. um, and we include everything in that email from welcoming new fools announcing departures role changes uh, any sort of uh, big announcement that, that we need to make is included in that email and that goes out every week sure and the latest thing that we've done is something called our quarterly reports mm -hmm. and that was really born out of um, employee feedback from our engagement survey where they were saying there's so much information being communicated all the time but I really want the story of what happened um, in one place right. so um, we are an investing company our, all of our analysts are reading 10 Q's and 10 K's of public companies and uh, somebody Jordan DiPietro um, came up with the idea of why don't we create our own version of a 10 Q uh, and include everything that has happened in the last quarter so we've done those for about a year and a half now and they've gone from a print report uh, to an online version. Right. Uh, which Saving the paper. Saving the paper, yes. saving the trees, yes. and making it more accessible to everybody no matter where they are. Sure, and I know a lot of fools have, have appreciated having a year's worth of information in one place. Yes. Um, some information isn't always fun to share. How do you communicate in a way that fools are going to want to read it and keep engaged in a, in a particularly long email maybe? Yeah, so, well, um, it's not always easy to share news that's not fun news, but right. we, we do. And um, we always try to remember our core values in, in our communications and um, making them as transparent as we possibly can and being honest and so and, and being foolish with a capital F. So even though it's it might not be great news, we, people still need to know that it has happened. Right. And so uh, one thing I, I think that we do really well is um, not waiting until we have all of the information that, um, to tell, to communicate it. So I think people appreciate, know, like, hey, something's going on. We don't have all the answers, mm -hmm. but we're going to let you know about it. We'll have more information later. So I think embracing our core values, doing it foolishly, and doing it quickly, even when you don't have all the answers, I think that's how we, um, how we do that. The does it. Yeah. So if you have a tip for another company that wants to improve their communications, what would you say? A tip for another company that wants to improve their communications. I would say the, the very last thing that I said there is not waiting until you have all the information to begin right. communicating. I think you gain a lot of trust that way and you're real whenever, um, you know, I, I don't think our employees expect us to have all of the answers and I, I doubt that um, theirs do either. So right. I think just getting a note out there as quickly as you possibly can um, builds that trust. Um, don't wait until you have all the information to begin to begin communicating. So Sure. Well, great. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Sharing no problem. sharing a tip on our communications. For more philosophies, philosophies, click a video down below.